Hey everybody, welcome back to round two of the water comparison videos. Tonight we have five more bottles of water. And so, what do these have in common? Well, these four all have a high pH level. This fifth one does not, but we're just going to make it part of the group anyway, because we don't have another bottle with a high pH ready to go. So, first up we have Voss water. This is in a glass bottle this time. In round one, it was in a plastic bottle. In round one, Voss water was up against my urine. I drank my urine. My urine tasted really bad. So Voss water had a really easy time making it to this round. But I got to admit, this is a really pretty looking bottle. Next up is Glacier Isle. This is from Iceland. This beat out Ice Canyon. And a pattern I've noticed is that all the bottles from Iceland have a squared off side. Here's another one, Icelandic Glacial. All, all three of these are from Iceland. They all have a squared off side. I just think that's interesting. Just a little pattern I've noticed. Next up we have Delish Water. This beat out Virginia Artisan and Crystal Lake. This has a pH of 8.8. .8. Glacier Isle has a pH of 8.8. .8. Next up we have Diamond Creek. This has a pH of 9.5. And this beat out Neo Water. Uh, for some reason this is a darker bottle. Which is kind of just interesting. And finally we have Plus Essentia. Which also has a pH of 9.5. And this beat out Fiji water. <laughs> right before I started taping this video, I thought I was going to be using this huge version <laughs> of Plus Essentia. Um, then I remembered I bought the smaller one. And I'm glad I don't have to do this big one because this is already a lot of water, to, just to begin with. Um, this is almost a gallon of water, all this together. So that, that extra liter just would have made this insane. I, I might actually have to skip some of this just because it's so much water. All right. If you want more info, go back to round one. I give you a more detailed description of each bottle. So let's just open them up and start drinking them. Voss has a very pretty bottle. pretty good. This is going to be a tough round. I already know it because I know all five of these are, are pretty good. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. Glacier Isle. I wonder if the Voss lid can fit on this. No, it doesn't, doesn't work. Okay, delish. The 8.88 pH. Diamond Creek. I think that the reason this is, has a darker plastic might have something to do with blocking out like UV light or, or some kind of um, blocking out of light. So I guess bacteria doesn't grow inside of it. I guess I'm just assuming. I really don't. I don't really don't know. Um. Getting like a slight like fruity taste from this. I, I didn't get that in round one, but it's my, it's my first impression. It's like a fruit, almost like a strawberry flavor. Just like very slight, but it's weird. Yeah, I'm getting it, getting it again. 
That's weird. I, I did not get that in round one. For sure. Okay, plus Essentia. Kind of like a plasticky taste to this on to this one actually. Yeah. This one's kind of tasting like um I don't know, just plasticky. Like um Deer Park kind of. I'm um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this this one actually. Um, you know, I have bottles of Plus Essentia. I have extra bottles right here. I was sort of expecting this one to make it to round three because I rem I remembered it being really really good, but I'm actually gonna eliminate this one first. Um, just because there's like a plasticky taste to it. Um, maybe this one was sitting out in the sun longer than the one from round one or something. I, I remembered it being really, really good, but yeah, plus the she is out. The Voss water is actually, it tastes better than I remember it from round one. Um, you know, in round one, I was drinking my urine at the same time, in the same video as this one. So maybe my memory of Voss water is, uh, is it being kind of bad just because of um, the urine? But it's tasting a lot better in this round. I also had Voss water in episode 3000 when I was in California, but I was really chugging it that time and didn't really focus on the taste very much. This is also a really good one. Like, this is from Rite Aid. It's a store I really don't like, but this tastes really good. I have to admit it. This one tastes really good. Yeah, these two are both plastic. They're both from Iceland. <laughs> They're both, like, you know, very, very similar. Um, both have a 8.88 pH. Um, just going back and forth between the two. Um, this one tastes better between the two of these. So I'm going to eliminate Delish. It's really not, not bad at all, but just, like I said, going back and forth. This sort of tastes like, uh, like, a, like a tap water, kind of. Just, you know, going back and forth. This one also had a really easy time making it to this round. This was up against Crystal Lake. And Crystal Lake was also one of the worst waters I've ever done. So this had an easy time making it to this round. Um, Diamond Creek is from the Appalachian Mountains. And so let's see if it's still fruity. Yeah, it says nothing about a fruit flavor. It's not even not even a bad fruit flavor, but I'm gonna go ahead and eliminate this one. 
is because fruit flavors are good when you're buying fruit juice or another drink, but they're not what you want in a regular plain water. Okay, so now it's down to Glacier Isle and Voss. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that Glacier Isle is the winner of this round. It's going to move on to round three. If I was judging just on the appearance of the bottle, I would say Voss is the winner. I think Voss has a much cooler bottle. Um, this just looks awesome, seriously. And it's, it's glass, it feels really well made. So I, I would say it's a beautiful bottle. It just sounds weird, but but I'm not judging them on the bottles. I'm judging them on the taste of the water. So congratulations, Glacier Isle. I'm shocked by this. this is, I was not expecting Glacier Isle to win, but it did. So congratulations.